Hi parents, this is Leslie Blevins with Inelda Clinic at ineldaclinic.com. Today we are going to talk about attachment with your child and specifically what is parent-child interaction therapy. So let's get started. So parent-child interaction therapy is a really well-researched therapy that's been around for several decades. It has excellent benefits um, for young children between the ages of two and seven. And then it also has some research for evidence for children on either end of that age range. So younger than two years old and then a little bit older than seven years, even going up as old as nine and sometimes even older, maybe even up to 11 or 12 with modifications. And so the therapy itself is between the child and then one specific parent and then both parents can participate, but the therapy itself, the child's interacting with only one parent at a time. And so it's a five minute play therapy every day. And um, it's based off of learning theory. So it is essentially teaching the child how to utilize good behavior skills based off of modeling with the parent, based off of reinforcement for positive behaviors, and of course, bankrupting negative behaviors that the child might have. And so the parent is really taking um, ownership of a leadership position within that role with their child and helping them to learn more. Um, it also is a dynamic for that five minute play session where it's totally switched up in the child's life and the child is given full center of attention and they're allowed to lead the play. And so this is different for children because throughout most of their day, they're given a lot of commands and a lot of structure and they're told what to do. So if you think about a child's life, they wake up in the morning, they're told to get dressed, eat their breakfast, possibly take their medicine, um, get to school on time, and then they're doing work all day long. So they're given a lot of commands by their teacher. And then they come home and they have homework to do. Maybe they have their extracurricular activities. They have to get ready for bed. They have to eat their dinner. Um, there are lots of commands for children. And so this five minutes a day is a total role reversal where the child is in charge and we set up the play in a very specific way so that it's safe and um, a high likelihood of appropriate behavior and the child gets to be in charge with the parent and they get to show off all their creativity and do really fun things and the parent is giving tons of attention. And so because of this, the child is really highly reinforced to do this play activity with the parent. Even children where um, you know, the interaction pattern with the parent has been pretty poor in the past. After a session or two of PCIT, or parent-child interaction therapy, the kid really learns to love it because the situation is just so dramatically different from what they've experienced in the past. And uh, of course, we are teaching the parent to do very specific skills to allow their child to lead in a safe way and to encourage the child to start using more and more appropriate behaviors. And so what is this therapy used for? Well, it's used specifically for these young children between two and seven years old, and we use it for a variety of difficult behaviors. So things like inattention and hyperactivity, um, you know, uh, physicians recommend not actually using medication for children who potentially have ADHD until older than five years old and after um, behavior interventions have been put in place. Well, P PCIT is an ideal intervention for these young children because it's a way that parents can strategically target attention and hyperactivity and train up um, there's executive functionings in their children and potentially thwart a diagnosis or um, even just help give their kids some skills and some coping skills to help manage um, the potential diagnosis that's going to come down the line anyway. Um, it also helps, PCIT also helps with non-compliance. Um, it helps with a poor attitude or SAS as we sometimes call it. Um, it helps with defiance, it helps with anxiety, it helps with depression. It pretty much helps with all young child difficulties. Um, I'm trying to think if there might be something it doesn't help with. I would say maybe like autism um, or other types of difficulties that um, we know are just going to be there regardless, we don't really have a cure. Um, but what it can help with is managing the symptomology of even those types of diagnoses and helping that symptomology to lessen in severity. Um, but it wouldn't cure it, right? Wouldn't do that. So, um, 
the big, big thing here is that it's reducing child stress. It's changing the interaction pattern with the parent. It's giving the parent a new set of tools that uh, the parent, through this five minute play scenario, gets to experience the effectiveness of this set of tools. And so oftentimes with the parents that I'm working with, um, you know, they say to me when they first come in, I don't think five minutes is going to be helpful. And I totally get that. And I love to have that experience where I'm like, you know, let's just go into this as an experiment. Let's just see. And after the first couple of weeks and they're starting to see this huge change in their child and they're starting to see their child really learn how to pay attention to them because the child is so rewarded by paying attention to what the parent says. And now their child is starting to follow directions. Um, the parent is like, actually, I think I'm gonna start doing this more across the day um, because this is just easier to do and it's so much um, more effective to get my kid to do what they need to do and my kid is more calm now. Um, and so it's a strategy where I'm not gonna be asking you to do these skills across the day, but what I'm gonna ask you to do is intensively do it for those five minutes in order for your child to get that buy-in and to learn that skill set and this really low stress play scenario. So that whenever it is high stress, like you're trying to get out the door to get to school on time, or you're trying to get your kid to you know, eat their food at dinner, then your kid has already well practiced the skills and knows how to listen to you. And you've also um, practiced these skills really well and you know how to use them effectively. Um, so the high stress scenarios are no longer high stress scenarios, um, but you're actually starting to experience success there too. Um, this is a, a really big reason why I like special playtime or PCIT is because a big secondary benefit is that it does help reduce parental distress with their child. Um, and that can't be you know, overstated. Whenever a parent is bringing in their young child, it's because they don't feel good either. And so um, to really make any therapy effective for a young kid, it has to feel good for a parent. And so um, with PCIT, even though it feels really good for the kid during the play scenario, over time what we start to see is that the parent feels really good too because they aren't yelling as much, they aren't having to administer timeouts as much, they aren't administering many of the punishments that they relied on in the past, but weren't effective. They're starting to use calmer voices. They're starting to feel more relaxed. Their blood pressure is lowering. And so they feel good and their kid feels good. And so PCIT is really an intervention that's designed for the family, even though it's really targeted at the child and helping the child to resolve some difficulties of young childhood. So if you'd like to learn more about PCIT, you can always reach out to me at anildaclinic.com. And then of course, always reach out to your child's pediatrician if you have concerns for your child. Okay, that's our learning video for today. I will see you next time. Bye.